Hey guys, this is the print head that we removed from the Epson Workforce WF2850 printer. Um, we're going to be cleaning it today, so let's see what we need and we'll get right to cleaning it so we can have a good working print head. Okay, so what I am going to use in this video is this Elise Totally Awesome uh, Cleaner. I'm going to dilute it with about 50-50 with warm water uh, or hot water that will make it warm. And then um, I have the syringe. I have a 10 milliliter syringe. Anything around that is going to work. 10, 5, 15, 20 milliliters. It's, it's fine. A slip tip a syringe would be best, not the Lurlock. So it's syringe tip like this here, where it just slips either a needle or, um, in our case, it's going to be a tubing that's just going to slide on here. This is piece of like about one inch of tubing that I got off of uh, aquarium airline. So um, you can get that at Walmart. I just checked the dollar eighty eight for about eight feet of this tubing. So if you're going to go to Walmart or any other store uh, where you get your supplies um, or pet store uh, also would have those in the aquarium section is the airline tube. It should be about the same for everything. It's a standard size and it's going to fit perfectly over the slip tip like that. So have about one inch of it so you can have place for the slip tip. And then also about half an inch for the like nozzle that stick out from the print head, these here. So we can go over them, these uh, little things here. Um, why I have this here is something I got off of uh, Amazon. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to try to do it first inside the printer without the t taking the print head out and I'm going to make a video on that but if you bought something like this you can use the supplies from it you can either use if you have um the solution you can try that that's like i said i'm going to try in a different video i'm going to test it first and then make a video about it um and then it comes with a syringe this is only five milliliters but you should be fine um and it already has the tubing on it it's slightly smaller but it's going to fit perfectly over the um over the nozzle tops there or let's call them ink ports um, and on the print head so see, like you see it's already it comes with this here you don't need to worry about getting a syringe or anything you can just order this on Amazon and get it and actually try the solution but whoops um, if you want to do it right now and you can just do a quick trip to a store near you or you already have the syringe and the airline uh, aquarium tubing then we can just get right to it so like I said this is what we're going to use I'm going to mix it about half and half I use this tray like a food container tray that uh, you can use anything that will hold water um, and I'm going to fill it first I'm going to fill it to soak it so I'm just going to fill it a little bit like maybe to where the print head is like right here um, just to cover the nozzles but you don't want to I mean it's all gonna get wet and it's gonna get chemicals and uh, water everywhere but when you're soaking it I would just avoid because um, I, I want to get as less water in here as possible so we here have the uh, mixed solutions about 50 50 so water and that um, and then I'm gonna just place it in there like that here we go so we have this in there and it's if yours was very badly clogged you would keep it there for a couple hours um, but I'm gonna try to continue with this right away so this is just for demonstrating you how to soak it if you want to do that so hot water do about 10 10 or 15 milliliters of each um, doesn't matter really it's just the level that you're gonna worry about 
So it's kind of right there. So I haven't done anything to the print head yet, but since it had the ink gunk on the bottom, it's starting to get, you can see the water getting black just by having the print head in there. So you know it's already working and it will get to those thin nozzle points where um, the clogs are happening. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna replace this water. I'm gonna put hot water. We're gonna put more this time. Let me drain that. Rinse it out. And I'm gonna let the hot water run for a little bit. For now, I'll just put this solution in there. Just enough for me to work with. I can make it later. Um, I just like this product. It, it works on Epson printers very well, uh, print heads very well, so um, that's why I use it and that's why I recommend it. I haven't had any print head damages with it. One thing that I want to point out is when you start to clean it after you've soaked it um, and the nozzle is just not going through, um, it's, when it's blocked, it's one thing, but when it's you keep on cleaning and it makes like random lines, unfortunately, a lot of times it's going to be just a bad print head that's kind of fried and you may need another one. So getting our tools, simple setup, um, we're going to get right to work. So I'll have, I'll have this over here so we can see it in action. I have my syringe ready filled with the solution and I'm just going to place it over one of the ports here and I'm going to try pushing some oh you can instantly see black ink coming out so we're on the black nozzle it seems like our print head is very good one downside of this is just is gonna my sink is plastic so I need to do some extra cleaning after I'm done with this on the sink so um let me just rinse that off real quick very messy. <clears throat> so then we can just go to the next nozzle so let's go to this one and these are going to be not as white as the black one this is our yellow um print uh, print head nozzle so you can see, let me see if I can zoom it in, it's not as white. I'll do it on the next color so you can see the width of it. It's about half an inch. Okay, so here's our next one. It could be cyan or magenta. I'm not sure. can barely see it but it's there so let's try this one there you go so here's that one Okay, so we have cleared plenty of ink. So I would just go um, about, like this print head, like I said, it looks like it wasn't even clogged that much. So we were able to just flush it and clean it. Um, if you don't see, you would be able with your eye, it's a little harder on the camera here. With your eye, you would be able to see where you're skipping lines. On this one we're not skipping any so our black one is good let's see what our yellow looks like yellow looks very good a hundred percent there the magenta I believe or cyan I didn't spot what color which one it was but um, that's you know that to me that looks like a clean uh, like a printhead that's ready to go um, can be installed. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in some water into the syringe. I 
detergent and I'm gonna flush it after that. So after we put chemicals in there, make sure you flush it real good. So I have some warm water over here. I'm gonna flush it that way rather than trying to catch water from the <laughs> faucet. There we go. So we have clear, beautiful lines coming out right now for each nozzle. I, I don't see any ink. And that's kind of where you want to get is where you are kind of like putting a solution in, then waiting a couple minutes and then trying to prime some more through and see if it's clear or if there's still some ink in there. That will get it to 100%. So uh, as soon as you see just clear water going through the nozzles, you know you've done the job and the print head is ready to go. Uh, it, it ready to go into your printer, um, not into the trash. So I also, what I do is I use that same cleaning solution in order to get some cleaning done here. Don't be too rough on it because these are very fragile, but I would just kind of like remove any excess uh, ink build up here. And when you do, when the soap soaps uh, kind of like becomes foamy, we'll see if there's any. We're we're pretty good here, so we can just rinse it off, rinse this off. Okay, so here's our clean print head. There's a couple steps I want you to do before you put it in your print head. You do not want to put it like this wet, where you're gonna definitely cause some problems with the connection so we want to make sure everything is dry before we put it in there and let me show you how to how, how to get it dry so first thing you want to do is get the syringe make sure it's empty and we're going to go ahead and prime some air through so get those nozzles cleared you might experience some problems when you're installing the ink cartridges if there's still um air locked in between water bubbles and stuff like that. So let's just get the nozzles cleared. Wipe it down. Then I have an air can that I'm going to use in order to make sure everything is dry. First I'm going to just put some air into the nozzles here, into the ports. Okay, and definitely the most important part is to make sure our connection port for the wire is clear of any moisture. On this print head, there's only one connection on this side, so for the um, for the cord. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this print head um, dry. I have a, a hair fan, so I'll just put the hair fan not too close to avoid any damage, but at about distance like here, and just kind of give it a few minutes, and then flip it over. And make sure it dries this part. Make sure the connection port is all dry. And keep it over a paper towel. That would be the best in order to help it also get any moisture out. So I would place it with the connectivity port site over here towards the fan. And just let it dry for about four minutes like that. And after you're all, you're all done with that, like I said, the most concerning part is this to be dry before you install it into the printer. So make sure that's all done and after it's dry you're ready to load it into your printer. So that's how you clean this print head. Very similar to most, H, uh, most Epson print heads. This is more of a simple one. 
hopefully you ha you are able to do it. It's uh, mostly going to be a successful thing. Uh, so good luck with that. Check out our uh, video where we show how to take it out of the printer and the link below. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.